Well, the man we're about to hear from is asking for forgiveness as he sits in jail. The man's accused of a parking lot crash that left a mother dead, and he says what happened has destroyed not one, but two families. Robbie Owens, live for us over at the Loose Terrett Justice Center in Dallas. Robbie? Well, Doug, Juan Velasquez sits here in jail on a $100,000 bond. He told me today he has no hopes of posting that bail, so he has a lot of time alone with his thoughts, most of them tortured. I'm having nightmares. I'm having a hard time dealing with this. Sharing his story from the Dallas County Jail, Juan Velasquez says there was never an intent to harm. He blames the fatal crash on a floor mat. The mat was caught up in there. And every time I hit the brakes, it would exhilarate, and it shot out. It was at that exact moment that 24-year-old Maria Cruz Gonzalez Cortez stepped out of the laundromat. Surveillance video from a nearby business captured the fatal collision. The mother of two young children was pinned between two vehicles. She died steps from her husband and infant daughter. As the crowd gathered, some suggested that the driver had been drinking. I wasn't drunk. I was scared. That's why I ran. I was ran because I was scared. You hadn't been drinking? No, I was scared. That's why I ran. It is a decision he now regrets. He says he passed a breathalyzer test at the scene, so he was charged with failure to stop and render aid. I feel so bad for the victim's family, you know. I, I'm sure was sleeping, you know. I asked for forgiveness. I asked God to forgive me for this. I just feel so bad because my family suffering, my children are suffering, I can't sleep at night. It was just a freak accident. Yolanda Gonzalez is the victim's sister. I don't wish him any, any bad. I just live all to God. I just can't imagine what the family is going through. I'm sorry, you know, I'm truly, truly sorry. The victim's sister told me today that this whole situation is just painful. As for the apology, it really changes nothing. This family mostly preoccupied today with getting enough donations to pay for a funeral.